How many of you have seen this chart? Fertilizer salesmen love this. Agronomists love this because they use this as the excuse for why you've got to go buy more of something you don't need. Throw all of this out the window because this is based strictly on um, pH. And when you start looking at when these different nutrients are most available, it, it's all over the board. The only thing that's actually most available at a pH of 6.5, the preferred pH for all plants to grow. Like what on this planet would lead you to believe that nature behaves that way? All plants grow best at a pH of 6.5. What? What's the pH range that all plants can grow over? Between 5.5 and 11. The highest producing alfalfa fields, or what do you call it, lucerne fields, in the state of Nevada in the United States grow in soils that have a pH of 11. These everybody else in the state. But when you look at the root systems of the plants, the pH is 7.0. Because right around the root system, the plant is controlling the pH to what the plant requires. And so the plant's going to be doing these changes. I love it when we take you know, a whole bunch of samples from your field, mix them all together, throw that into water, and stick a couple of pH probes in there. And we come up with the fact that your soil has a pH of 6.5. Really? Go to your root system and do a little site testing. Over here in your root system, the pH is 11. But over here, it's 5.5, and here it's 6.2, and there it's 7.8, and over here it's 8.1, and over here it's 9.2, and da, 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 da. every micrometer length of your root system, the pH changes. So what's the actual pH in your soil? Everything. It depends on what your plant requires. Put your plant back to work. Let it do what it's supposed to be doing. Throw this chart out the window.